United States foreign policy and the debate community have an identity problem as the events of this last year unfold and we witness another U.S. funded ally fall in the grips of the angry public. We are forced to face a difficult question about our relationship with democracy while representing the beacon of democracy. Remember, it was us who whipped those filthy Nazis. We simultaneously propped up numerous brutal dictatorships to secure our neoliberal economic interests. This contradiction is not stopped American culture from monopolizing its hold over democracy. This assumption has never been clearer than in the phrasing of this year's resolution. Democracy is ours to give those brown people who want to be good liberals just like us. We are the teachers and the revolting masses are our students. It is our job to help and progress. However, U.S. democracy is not innocent. The violent logic of new liberals and develops democracy is entrenching state the door trend is making a precondition for foreign exploitation which leads to crack down interstate violence that makes war inevitable. Member in 2011 democracy that wants to head back to the door for freely elected government civil and political rights are activated social and economic rights say the same or decrease democracy starts to grow in civil and political rights while social and economic states say the same perception of injustice intensifies unrest among different disadvantaged groups starts to grow the government's right to suppress and pursue and coerce the policy of function of democracy constitutes personal security tolerance and mutual respect for human agency to achieve this assurance is a basic standard of nutrition health and housing must be respected at all levels when the State refuses or is marginalized to accept that basic requirements are impossible to fill violence and instability are the result of public order collapses, private systems of violence and murder violence becomes decentralized and not a widespread. It's not only democracy that is threatened, but the very basis of social cohesion and democracy is system alone will not lead to emancipation. Political rights must be coupled with economic rights to overcome the system to row and all the democracy tends to become meaningless if it doesn't also have the economic freedoms. While we certainly have the right to vote and freedom of expression becomes dysfunctional, people do not have personal freedoms that make it possible when they're poor homeless, don't have health care and living in tensions. We have to recognize that democracy becomes meaningless rather than being dazzled and romanticizing those political individuals. Friends, what's going on doesn't disqualify friends' rights, but extends them to make the promise of democracy seem workable. And all current and future aid packages will be done on calculated strategic interest to ensure long term US interests are preserved. Dixon, in 2011, the Imperial Reef represents a real threat to the popular opposition movements, explaining about the mean of Western parties taking an active role, but internationally legitimate, not knowledge production funding that fuel makes invisible the neoliberal agenda in an effort to maintain geopolitical relations with power. Western governments and observers to find their restraint on their own towards maintaining a monopoly of expertise. The assistance for democratic transition is more of the same that has been offered for the last two decades. Free package triggered on prescription of private sector growth. This indeed seems like an opportune time of shock for implementation of neoliberal reforms. These dangerous signal a need for collective effort to ward off or resist the imperial reach of poor popular democracy. And this ensures collective suicide and sacrificial genocide of the periphery. Santos in three sacrificial genocide arise from totalitarian illusion that has believed that there are no alternatives to present day difficulties and frontier rights from failing to maintain its logical development. All the consequences of theirs on employment is not the result of market failures and says the outcome of market laws not having been followed by the logic. It's also concerned and aims to infinitely reproduce the sex quo in the It's the end of history of the West has experienced three law versions of this logic and seen three versions of the end of history of Stalinism with its logic. Against the brutal efficiency of the plan, Nazis and the logical of racial and racial spirit and neoliberalism with its logic of insuperable uh, efficiency of the market. The dead track predominates the idea of women collective suicide, only preventable by the mass destruction of the other, broader definition of the other. The more like the collective suicide, neoliberals and death tracks, the many forms of the idea of discardable population to the concept of collateral damage, and the crackdowns in Bahrain prove that neoliberalism is the root cause of racial oppression and supremacy through corporate influences. And so, in 2011, if people of some nations in North Africa and the Arabian Peninsula have taken the streets and pipes, fans of rights and Indian Americans have found a way to congratulate the US brand Kettle's. Which is most narcissism displayed in the US is comical. It is completely unlikely that the US had anything to do with the uprising nations such as Tunisia, Egypt, Yemen, and Libya. Not only that the US and Africa fostered these movements, but it had a great deal to do with propping up those governments that are now being swept aside by the people of the US as coddled dictatorial rules corrupt and despite leaders help the US maintain its political and economic hegemony over the region and in return they were protected and supported. Years prior to what US and Libya engaged in numerous hostile exchanges, some were diplomatic while others were involved in violence. So in December of 1985, Libyans were planned for a terror second era that the five Americans and Americans and Libyans exchanged gunfire, resulting in the city of four Libyan boats. Neil Liberals and assumed to level playing field and a fair game for everyone, but the fair game has never existed because Western history has seldom exceeded the notion of equality among all. It is here that the concept of racism comes into play as a reciprocal phenomenon to Western neoliberals and racism is often equated with prejudice, but racism is the combination of prejudice with power when an individual uses a position of power to deny someone of that race where the group of job or education or some place to live, then they are engaging in racism. This part of the society is necessary for racism to exist with a socio-economic context at the institutional and structural levels. And anyone to be a bigot under standing racism to be racist, you have to possess two things. One, the socio-economic power to force others to do what you desire, even if they don't want to, and two, the justification of this power abuse by an ideology of biological supremacy with the rise of the acceptance of the thesis that race is a social concept, not scientifically provable distinction of heritability. Racism has had to find a safe reporting that all notions of racism based upon culture is now seen by racism as more defensible. Another way of putting this is uh, uh, so that cultural racism substitutes the cultural category European for the racial category white. The theories are that non-Europeans are not racial but rather culturally backward. It is for this reason that they are of they must fall under European guidance and tutelage. The path that already tried by Europeans is the only means of overcoming backwardness. Non-Europeans were there by defining its inferior to a team level of achievement, not potential for achievement. This was the realization of cultural reason, uh, reason. Therefore, we have here the following advocacy statement that topic countries should provide democracy assistance to the youth movement in the United States. Contention two is our affirmative solves that the world is a platform, the affirmative reorients of power relation within it. We should be the students, not the professors regarding revolution. We must join the revolution to abandon colonial management and lead to societal transformation in the U.S. has been due in 2001 when the away soul is uh, to be the rules of the world and continue to give a lesson of good management good behavior to the rest of the world. It's liable to see well-paid and well-fed intellectuals serve as a lot in Paris offering services to the offspring of Tunisian and Egyptian people in order to teach these savages the ABC for democracy, pathetic, persistent, 
colonial arrogance is us who have everything to learn from the high school rest of the women. We should do be we should be the students of these women and not the professors for they can play the principle that the dominant powers trying to convince us of their obsoleteness when it is a matter of liberty, equality, emancipation. We all have to join the high our peoples and our political vision is without party or leader is a communism of movements and identities outside the states and state by people this is to do in 2001 the pipe of our rise we speak of is obvious without a party without a hegemonic organization without a recognized leader this is what makes it a communism a movement communism here means a common creation of collective destiny and it's generic representing humanity as a whole and we find all sorts of people every word is heard every suggestion is given any difficulty is treated for it is overcomes all substantial contradictions that these same claims to be exclusive provinces is alone able to manage without ever surpassing between intellectuals and manual workers between men and women between poor and rich between Muslims and cops be between peasants and cargoes and thousands of new possibilities arise at any even moment to which the state remains completely blind. All these situations, inventions, con, such as the communism of movement, horrors of the Tunisian and Egyptian people, but because they conjure the true and only political duty, the organized faithfulness to the communism of the movement takes on the state. And this leads upward and causes collective action that defeats paralyzing forces from 2011. There are students in the U.S. involved in protests and bringing justice they see around them, but they are indeed a minority in the struggle for educational reforms in the Middle East is a larger struggle for the economic, political, and social conditions that give meaning to self and what it means to make democracy possible. Youth movement solve that social vision and build the casino capitalism and deeply authoritarian regimes have lost their utopian thrust and their ability to perspective and intimidate through the threats, coercion, and state violence. Young people become harbingers of democracy fashion through the desires, dreams, and hopes of the world based on the principles of equality, justice, freedom, and only a matter of time. The poor American youth recognize that markets within society is not synonymous with democracy. Private rights are not more important than the social good. The society view of those pathological and disposable demand cause for a mass resistance in the street schools and every other, other public space in which justice and democracy matter. Young people in the U.S. must join their counterparts across the globe and struggling to continue to build formative cultures, critical public spheres, social movements, and democratic institutions necessary to make that recognition and struggle possible. Only then can they be successful furthering the artificial test of struggling collectively to make the future based on the promise of democratic freedom happen. Taking a cue from the youth with that help the top of the bar, American youth must understand their rights and know how to demand them and realize their own power just like their counterparts in Egypt, Tunisia, and Libya. And the time to act is now. Collective action is key to defeat authoritarianism and reaching democracy. See this row in 11. What is new in the youth revolts that are rewriting the politics of the Middle East is a refusal on the part of young people to be written out of the future. There has been a concerted effort on the part of authoritarian and corporate states to destroy the democratic public spheres and enable new models of association. If young people are granted the time, resources, and support to reclaim a future that does not imitate the present, these models will have a better chance of creating conditions for a future that makes good on the ideals and promises of democratization. Embracing a vision of democracy committed to economic and political equality is able not only to think in terms that relate isolated problems to larger public considerations, but also recognize the importance of a civic society that provides a formative culture necessary for self governing democratic societies. Emphasis on New media is about creating a new democratic public spheres where the values, ideas, dialogue, knowledge, and social relations necessary for democracy can take root. It is about creating counter public spheres that assert the public character of spaces, relations, and institutions regarded as private or currently limited to the members of the ruling class and the Georgian elite. Um, oh, I guess that's I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, I'll jump this to you. Read this. Okay. The idea of. Do you want to plug this? Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to read it. Come on. We're going to run out of time. The ideology of the marketplace maps and perpetuates racism in America and eliminates the social space and the challenge racist practices by privatizing discourse about racial relations, growing for representation, and embracing our everywhere American society, and the race in the either or ignore or rebel against utterly privatized discourse, but every for me, uh, all of us are engaged lots of discourse and such differences are produced with the inclusion of uh, relation to power either unobjectable or cultural signifiers of the rival copies. The whole morality of the marketplace versus the national mind gap between political control and economic power will simultaneously be this political agency, the act of consuming more results of acquiring citizens and powerlessness among general population, political and violence of public institutions, reinforced with disparaging law of any representative. I think that equity, justice, or normative principles that private democratic values are considerations core power undermines all notions of public good and increasingly privatizes the public space and obliterates the public sphere in pushing right and reverse criticism and the indifference of the citizens of our brief intent and present this racial uh, racial hierarchy is now class of power based on strategies such as blame minorities of class of power or not working hard enough for choosing to exercise an individual uh, initiative or practicing reverse racism. Um, 